Hi everyone, I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're inside and not out in this. If you are, uh, uh, I pray that the Lord looks after you and that you get home safely. Uh, on days like this, I'm glad to have a, a warm place to be and a roof over my head. I thought I'd take advantage of this uh, snowy backdrop uh, to talk to you today about carbon dioxide. Hmm. Uh, why would I, I think about that? Well, uh, here's a, a bit of a riddle for you. What do uh, my little uh, bottle of hand sanitizer and the King's Arrow Arena have in common? Well, they both uh, use products that uh, have a, a byproduct uh, of carbon dioxide. You see my little bottle of hand sanitizer, its main ingredient is ethanol. Uh, one of the byproducts of making ethanol is carbon dioxide. Uh, the uh, uh, ice plant at the King's Arrow Arena, of course, uh, takes uh, products like ammonia and compresses them and uh, uses that uh, cooling in order to make the ice. And so ammonia and ethanol are uh, products that uh, produce carbon dioxide. Well, when you take carbon dioxide and mix it with other things, uh, you can get uh, uh, valuable products. There's a company in Halifax called Carbon Cure that's uh, come up with something they call the box. They take concrete and they mix carbon dioxide into it early on in the mixing process and it turns uh, the concrete into a stronger product. Uh, because, of that, uh, the, because of that stronger product, less concrete is needed to uh, make the same structure. Uh, what they found is that when you take the carbon dioxide and you mix it with the concrete, little particles of limestone form, and those little particles of limestone strengthen the concrete naturally. They just put in the carbon dioxide and they get this value-added product out the other end. Uh, things like that uh, make me marvel and uh, wonder at the great mind of our Lord. I was reading uh, earlier today from Isaiah uh, in chapter 40, and it speaks about our God and his great, amazing mind. Uh, there we read, See, the sovereign Lord comes with power, and his arm rules for him. See, his reward is with him, and his recompense accomplishes, accompanies him. He tends his flocks like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those who have young. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, or with the breadth of his hand marked off the heavens? Who has held the dust of the earth in a basket, or weighed the mountains on the scales and the hills in a balance? Who has understood the mind of the Lord, or instructed him as his counselor? Whom did the Lord consult to enlighten him? Who has taught him the right way? Who has taught him knowledge and showed him the path of understanding? Who has been the Lord's counselor? Who has taught him the path of understanding? Uh, these great things even uh, uh, that uh, are discovered uh, on a regular basis are all uh, the creations of God. God, the one who uh, knows it all and understands it all and who allows us to have minds to figure things out. Uh, he deserves our praise. So I trust that you're praising him today, even in the midst of this, uh, this snowy, uh, snowy day. I hope you're having a great day, and God bless you.